It's been almost two years since I wrote this article for Audiokinetic blog, which is about how to connect Wise and Reaper using Reopen. I realized that I never recorded the proper video tutorial, so here we are now. And Reopen is a simple and free tool which allows you to quickly iterate over your uh, already exported sounds. It can be used with Wise, FMOD and Explorer and even inside Reaper itself. And basically what it does is, so if you have a project like this in Reaper and you set up your project in a certain way, you will be able to do something like this in Wise. Let's say go to Reopen in Reaper and then your region should be focused. So we are at Blast 01, okay, then we go to, let's say, Blast 03, and reopen in Reaper, and then Reaper is opened, focused, and everything is loaded. So we have uh, three different types of objects that are supported. We have items, regions, and render blocks. So let's go and see how items work. It should be the same. So let's see, this is big explosion. This is reopen in Reaper. This is big explosion also. Another thing is that we have support for render blocks. And if you don't know what render blocks are, uh, you can watch my trailer and visit the website to see what are the render blocks. But basically render blocks are blocks that can be rendered together. So this is one block, this is another, this is a third block. And uh, Reopen also supports render blocks. And cool thing is that even if you move your render block somewhere else, let's say over here and save, Reaper should be able to find it. But this is the basic idea and even if your Reaper project is not opened, let's say we close the Reaper, we can still use Reopen. Let's go and Reopen in Reaper. Reopen will launch the Reaper and open the project and focus the data. And the same goes for let's say these things. Okay, let's go through project settings. In order for this uh, to work you need to uh, first use WAV files and then click over here to these two checkboxes and this allows you to write some special project info metadata inside the WAV files themselves and uh, everything should work after that. It treats the data from the WAV file and loads the Reaper project. So if you change your Reaper project path, uh, you move it to somewhere else, there is a good chance that it won't work anymore. So be careful about that. And if you don't want to have that kind of issue, you can go and read this section. P stands for project. Uh, so this allows you to have uh, some kind of relative project path. So you don't have to think about where you actually place your Reaper project projects uh, absolutely on your hard drive. This allows you to always have the ability to load them, at least on PC. Installing Reopen is very straightforward. You need to have Repack and then add this repository. Inside search for Reopen and install the latest version, apply, and then go to Actions, Reopen, and you have three actions. First you need to run this init setup and run it and reopen setup successful, have fun, okay? And then you can run this one. And if you're on PC, you can run this script to install the command inside WISE. Run it, script finished, press any key to continue and it says here, please restart WISE. So if your WISE is open, restart your WISE to be able to see the command. And after you restart it, restart it, you will be able to see this action over here. And if for some reason this doesn't work, you can uh, run this action if you didn't already. Open this and click here and copy this address and then go to project, user preferences, add and paste this address over here and click reopen.exe. And now you can do this, edit in external editor, reopen. To set reopen inside the uh, fmod, click over here on the empty space and copy this path and go to fmod, edit, preferences, assets and click browse, paste this path over here, click open and click uh, reopen exit. And uh, now we'll be able to do something like this from the assets window, uh, go to right click, open in external sample editor and now you should be able to load the sounds. And you can also do it from timeline as well, go to edit, open in external sample editor and it works. Okay, and the last thing is to set uh, Rio open for your explorer. And to do that, uh, run winr shortcut and you'll get this window, win plus r. And then here click send a shell, colon send to. 
and over here create a shortcut so copy and then over here paste as shortcut and what I like to do is to put underscore over here so it's the first one in the list now you're going to be able to do something like this click uh, with right click send to reopen and it will open your project and even if reaper is not opened it will work and that's it.